Hello, hello everybody. This is Moni with Flowers by the Bunch. Today I need to put together um, a standing spray for a funeral. This is a $125 spray. And how we do that is this is a, I believe it's a 54 inch standing um, easel. So it's just a metal easel that we order from our local wholesaler. Um, and so this is a cage, an Oasis brand cage, actually. I think it's called an Easel Mate, and it's by Ludwig. Um, but it is the same thing. It's fresh floral foam. I'm gonna take that cage and I'm hanging it. It has a little hole, let me show you. It has a small hole in each end. And so it hangs right onto the stand. Now I like to use um, I like to use zip ties. These are just black cable ties that you can pick up at your local hardware store. Um, I'm going to take that cable tie or zip tie and I am going to put it right there through that hole and I'm catching it to the stand. Now I'm going to do this in three different places and the reason is is every time you mount a cage, go ahead and do a three-point attachment. That's going to guarantee that this cage is not going to come off the stand. It's important when you're doing funeral work that you make sure that your mechanics are very well put together. Um, if you don't, you, you have a likelihood of the flowers falling off and that would be terrible because people spend way too much money on these stands to have their flowers come off. I'm going ahead and cutting the tabs off the ends of, that, um, of those zip ties because they don't look pretty. So I go ahead and cut those off. I'm gonna grab my garbage can and set it to the side. Now for us, I like to start out with some jade as my foliage and I'm going to actually um, make this arrangement a little bit different. I'm gonna back it up just a little. I have a bucket that's right up underneath the stand. You can't see it, but it's a little black bucket. It's gonna catch any water that drips from my cage. Now I'm gonna take this foliage and I am going to actually go in a diagonal way, diagonal instead of straight up and down. It's just going to be just a little bit different. Callie did um, a stand for the same funeral, and hers is very traditional in how it's um, designed. So I just thought, let's design this one a little differently. Now I like to go ahead and green out my arrangements first. Now you can really design any way you feel the most comfortable, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and put down just a base of foliage. I'm just taking my floral knife and I'm cutting those stems just at an angle. And I'm just pressing that foliage right into that floral foliage. All right, so next we're gonna come in. So you can kind of see it's, it's diagonal. I'm gonna tilt this camera. It's gonna cut my head off just a little bit, but at least you'll be able to see um, the foliage and how I'm going to arrange it. At least you can see the bottom of the arrangement. Okay, next I am going to come in with some line flower. So my line flower is stock, it's white stock. If you have a bloom that doesn't look pretty, go ahead and pull that bloom off. It's not gonna hurt a thing. I'm gonna take one stem and I'm going to, again, I'm wanting to go kind of in a diagonal form. So I'm taking those stems, cutting them at an angle and tucking them in kind of diagonally. All right, so there's our white stock. Kind of hard to see on this background, but that's okay. Um, you'll see the next flowers. Okay, next we're going to come in with some unicorn hydrangeas. A unicorn hydrangea is a dyed hydrangea. It's not naturally this color. I've got my quick dip. 
taking my um, stem, cutting it at an angle, and I am dipping it in some quick dip. Now what this quick dip is, is it is something that just helps to keep that flour hydrated. I'm gonna tuck that hydrangea kind of right there in the center. I've got two more stems. I'm stripping the paper off, going ahead and removing my foliage, cutting that stem at an angle, and I'm dipping it in that quick dip. I usually count to about seven. I love those hydrangeas, they're so pretty. Now this is a dyed hydrangea, they don't naturally come this color, um, but I really like them. I, I will say that I am not one that's crazy about dyed flowers. Um, but these really come off as more of an antique hydrangea versus a dyed hydrangea. Okay, so I kind of tucked those right there in the center of that arrangement. Okay, next we are going to come in with a few roses. I have some pink roses and I have some wire. So here are my pink Mondial roses, and I'm going to take each stem. I'm using a florist wire. I'm removing any petals that don't look pretty. I'm going to take that wire, and I am going to press it right into that calyx. And then I'm twisting that wire right around that flower. Now what that's going to do is keep that head standing up tall. Um, this is fresh floral foam. So I just want to make sure if this flower doesn't get enough water, it's still going to stand up pretty. Removing any of those rose petals that don't look pretty pressing that wire into that calyx and twisting it right around that stem. All right, so there's my three roses going down that center. Next, we're gonna come in with some Lizzie Anthus. So we have some white Lizzie. going to take this and kind of use it like a filler flower. This one, the bud's broken off, so I'm just taking that empty stem and I just cut that right off. Now, I love the fact that Lysianthus has these sweet little buds. These um, little buds are so pretty to me, and so I like to use those little buds and just tuck those right into the arrangement. I'm going to move that over just a little bit. All right, next we're gonna come in with a little bit of Solidago. Oh, okay. So I have some Solidago Aster that we're gonna tuck in. And again, you can see how everything's kind of going on that diagonal line. There's our Lizzie, our, our um, Solidago. And to finish it off in flowers, we're going to add a couple stems of Queen Anne's Lace. So this is Queen Anne's Lace. And then I have some pretty foliage we're gonna tuck in. All right, so there's all of my flowers in place. To finish off this arrangement, we are going to use a little bit of eucalyptus. So I have some, this is willow uke. I'm gonna pull it back up so you can see my face. This is a willow eucalyptus. And so I'm just gonna fill in with my willow. And I'm using this eucalyptus almost as a filler to just kind of finish it off to get it just a little bit more of a different texture. 
Now you can kind of see, I'm going to add just a little bit more of this um, jade right there because it's that one piece just looks kind of lonely. And now you can see how it's kind of on a diagonal here. I'm going to add just a touch of ribbon. Give me just a second. I'm going to grab some ribbon. All right, I grabbed a pretty pink ribbon. So it's just a pink um, wired ribbon. And I'm actually going to just tuck it in right here. I'm going to make a loopy bow and tuck it here. So I'm just taking that ribbon and I'm going to make a loopy bow. I just took and I made a loop and I'm going to twist a loop, twist, a loop, twist, a loop, and twist. And this is going to tuck in right here. I'm going to leave my tails long. I'm going to make three tails. Now, when I get it into the arrangement, I'll adjust its loops, but there's our loopy bow. We're going to take it, and I'm just going to tuck it right over here to the side. And there is our standing spray. Guys, thank you so much for being here with me this afternoon. If you have any questions about how we do things here at the flower shop, please don't hesitate to ask. You can drop that in the comments down below. If you like videos like this, please join us over on Facebook. We go live every afternoon doing tutorials just like this. Guys, thank you so much for being here and be sure to subscribe to our channel. Have a great afternoon.